Hi. In this video we want to show you several ways to monetize your courses. We will take a closer look on how you can charge your students for the courses you created, such as inbuilt payment methods, WooCommerce integration, and membership plans. We will also demonstrate the monitoring of the orders on behalf of both admin and user. So, we have a website with the created and set up courses and want to start selling those. Let's proceed to the payment methods integrated into Master Study LMS. As an administrator, we go to Master Study LMS settings, payment methods tab, and enable the payment methods we need. In our case, we will use Stripe and PayPal, and you can set up and test them in sandbox mode. Offline payment is used for those who accept cash payments and mainly used for payments at the offices of those who provide offline courses. Now let's try to make payment on behalf of the user using Stripe. To do this, we have prepared a user account in advance and now we will purchase any of our courses. Inside the course we see the possibility of payment. Let's proceed with the payment. And immediately after a successful transaction, the user has access to the course and can begin taking it. Also, in the tab My Orders, the students can find their orders, check order and payment status. Now, let's go back to the administrator and go to the tab Orders. The order system allows website admin to monitor the history of all orders made through the LMS payment methods. When you click on an order you will see information about what course was purchased, its status, and the date of payment. In case the transaction failed due to a payment error you can manually complete or cancel the status of the order and click update. Let's move forward with the WooCommerce integration. In case, if you cannot use built-in payment methods or want to increase the payment options for your website users and use additional payment methods that are not integrated into Master Study LMS, you can always activate WooCommerce checkout and use any payment system that works with WooCommerce. Please note that if the toggle WooCommerce checkout is enabled in LMS settings, the built-in payment methods will no longer work. If you still need to have Stipe, PayPal when using WooCommerce checkout, you can activate these payment systems in WooCommerce. To do this go to Settings, Payments and enable the required payment methods. After WooCommerce activation, the LMS automatically generates products in WooCommerce products to make it work correctly. This functionality hides products from the store and allows you to buy our products only as courses. It is very important not to edit the products from this tab, as they are necessary for the stable operation of WooCommerce. In order to change the product settings, you can click on this link to access the LMS course. Let's try to pay with online payment method and cash on delivery. After the student pays via Stripe, PayPal, or any other online payment method, the course will automatically appear. But in the case of payment via cash on delivery, the course will appear only after the order status is approved by the site admin. By the rules of WooCommerce, only payments that were made through the online payment method for virtual and downloadable product will be autocomplete. For the rest payment options you need to manually set the status of the order to completed to appear course to user. To see all orders when paying via WooCommerce, go to the appropriate tab. The user can also view the history of purchases in orders tab. Please note that all orders placed with WooCommerce will not appear in LMS orders. WooCommerce handles everything in this case. Another way to monetize your website with courses is to add membership plans to your website to grant the users with active membership have access to the courses of the specific category. Let's start with creating our plan with Paid Membership Pro plugin. To do that go into Membership Settings, add new level and give our plan a name and description. In the Billing Details section, we will set up the initial amount for the membership. 
Also by clicking on the recurring subscription checkbox in the billing amount, we can make the plan with automatic renewals. You can choose the charging period and the total cycle for the renewal of the payment. In our case, we will create a membership plan without renewal. Let's move forward to the LMS settings for the membership plan we create. Here we set a number of courses included in the membership for our plan. We will choose three. But you can also type UNLIM to grant the unlimited number of courses to the subscribers. Going further, we specify the plan tab name. And we came to the most important feature. We need to choose a courses category. In case you if want to allow access to the courses from different categories, you have to create a separate plan for another category. Or, you can define a category for the membership plan and allocate different courses with this category. In this tutorial we decide to create membership category for the membership plan we build. So let's see how it works from the user side. As a user, we open the course that is associated with the membership category and choose available in membership pro plan. Proceed with buying the membership pro plan. After successful checkout, the membership plan will appear in user account under membership tab. Now go back to the course and enroll with Membership Plan. Website Admin can manage the orders under Membership Orders tab of the Paid Membership Pro plugin. Let's check out several scenarios. As you remember, we set three courses limit included in the plan. So if we go to another course of this category and enroll with the same plan, you can see that the course's quota decreases every time user enrolls to a new course. When it is decreased to zero, the user must buy another plan, or buy the course with one-time payment. So you can go to the course settings and enable one-time payment and set the price for it. If you need to disable one-time payment option for all courses included in membership, you can edit the membership plan and choose disable for all. Sometimes, you may need to create a membership plan for the specific category. For example, art. But you need some courses from this category not to be included in the membership plan. So you can go to this specific course settings. Enable toggle not included in membership. Enable one-time purchase and save the course. Now, this particular course will be available only if user buy it, even if this user has the subscription for the art courses. And by tradition, let's sum up briefly. Built-in payment methods is a convenient payment tool for the user and the administrator. But in case PayPal or Stripe are not available to the administrator due to regional restrictions, WooCommerce will come to the rescue. With WooCommerce integration, you can always choose the most suitable transaction method, and the Paid Membership Pro plugin will give you the ability to bundle all your courses into one package that will positively affect your revenue and is guaranteed to increase profits, and you will have three states to monetize your courses. By one-time payment, one-time payment plus membership, and only membership. Try combining your payment methods to customize the price of your courses in more detail. If you found this video useful, press like button, and if you have any suggestions on how to improve the Master Study LMS you can follow the link attached in the comments. We're done here, and we'll see you in the next videos.